my name's Renee and thanks for joining us for Kids Church today. Let's go and have a look at our memory verse. Hey kids, are you ready for our memory verse today? I want you to stand up with me. Here we go. I walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. I'm going to do it again. I want you to copy me. Ready? I walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. How did you go? Let's try it one more time all together. Here we go. I walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. We hope you've been really enjoying our theme for this term, Walk by Faith. There's so many cool stuff in here, but there's something that I've never seen this one before. What on earth is this? Oh, oh, what's happening? Hey, what's going on up there? Moses has been gone for weeks and weeks. Do you think he's still alive? I reckon God's gonna got angry and he's left us here to die. Out in the desert. Might as well go back to Egypt and be a slave so we could have food and water and shelter. Instead of out here left to die in the wilderness. God, what are you doing? doing? Why have you left us out here to die? Oh, man. I sure hope you've got a good plan in all this. You know what? We still get mad at every day, but I am so bored of it. I don't know any more ways to make manna into a meal. We have toasted it, roasted it, boiled it, Fried it, eaten it with goat, eaten it with no goat. Maybe God is still here if he's still providing manna. But I sure wish that we could hear from him and see him. All I get to see is the rumbling on the mountain and the cloud. But I cannot stand the silence. Don't hear anything. Don't see anything. Nothing. Wait. Hey, I think I saw something. This, that's Moses coming. <laughs> Moses is alive. What happened to his face? Oh, my gosh, his face is glowing. I have never seen anyone's face look like that before. Oh, he's carrying something. Looks like he's carrying a stone tablet. Hmm. What do you think's written on that stone tablet? I can't see well enough. Oh, I've got to get closer. The Israelites' walk into freedom wasn't easy and brought with it a lot of uncertainty. They weren't happy as slaves, but there was safety in what they were familiar with. Their walk into freedom required them to let go of the familiar. Sometimes our walking by faith also requires us to step out and do something we've never done before. God knew his people guidance, so he gave them the Ten Commandments. Moses was gone a long time and the people got worried without their leader. They didn't have their own relationship with God, they didn't have the Bible like we do. They relied on Moses to lead them and tell them what to do. So God decided to help Moses and his people. The Ten Commandments were given to help the Israelites live a life that pleased God and to make good choices that would help them live a good life. Let's go through the Ten Commandments. One, you shall have no other gods before me. God wants to be first in our lives. Two, you shall have no idols. We only worship God. Three, 
We don't take the name of God in vain. His name is holy, is to be respected and revered. Four, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. God wants us to dedicate time to worship him and spend time in his presence. It's why we have church. Five, honor your father and mother. Our parents love us and want to help us live a good life. That means they give us rules and guidelines sometimes. It's for our best. Six, do not murder. Seven, don't commit adultery. We stay faithful in our marriages and relationships. Eight, don't steal. Nine, don't lie. We tell the truth even when it's hard. 10, we don't covet. We're thankful for what we have and we don't get jealous or envy others. The Israelites needed God's guidance and boundaries to live a life of freedom and live life well. These commandments are still relevant to our lives today. We need to trust God that He wants the best for us. He guides us so we can walk by faith and live a life that is free from bad decisions and sin. So, what about you?